Hi YouTube, it's Sunday, February 21st, and um, some of you have been reminding me I uh, need to start the fair lane, and uh, appreciate that, because I did ask for that, and I've been kind of putting it off because the weather has really sucked up till this weekend, so this weekend has been extremely warm, yesterday was really nice and beautiful, but I ended up doing something other than I planned, and I'm going to do that on I'm going to make two videos today, and I'll be making another video on what kind of interrupted my plans yesterday, and I'll have videos for the next two weeks, I have two different videos. And um, we're going to start the fair lane, we're going to do a different view of the startup, we're going to start the camera right at the exhaust, not much fuel left in there, but that's okay. About a month ago, I found a new place. This isn't, that isn't extremely far away that I can uh, get racing fuel. And they're cheaper than the other guys who are quite a bit far away. So, we're going to fill that up. I need to get that door off the bumper there. It's got a rag in between it so that neither one gets harmed. And uh, we'll do a quick start up here. Okay, five gallons of fresh fuel have been added to it. I'm going to set this camera under here. I probably should have set it up before you turn the camera on. Not easy to get under here in this enclosed trailer. In case you're wondering why you're staring at the door. There we go. This isn't a bad view right here. And I guess you can see it pretty good. I was going to shine a light on it, but... Yeah, we'll do it like that. And you'll see a leak right there. That is, this transmission does leak at the front seal only when it sets. I'm also seeing something. I see dripping out of the head. I don't know what the deal is with that. Let's find out what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is it coming out of the header? That's kind of odd. Don't know what's causing that. All it's been doing is setting. Maybe that's what's wrong. Who knows? We will see. It probably just needs to be um, run and driven. But um, anyway, we're going to start it up anyhow. See how it looks. Could also be condensation mixed with uh, just the uh, carbon and soot inside the header too. In a wet, sweaty weekend. Let's see if we need. Oh, forgot to turn the battery on. Hang on. I gotta get back out. Go to the back of the car and turn on the battery switch.
get out here where you can hear me. I see that the camera vibrated around. I don't know how much of that you got to see. Didn't expect that. Should have taped it down, I guess, but as you can see, it started up pretty easy. Uh, only took a couple of tries. Had to let it warm up a little bit before I could give it a little bit of rev. I never even got over 2,500 on the rev up front. But it started good. Most of that uh, wetness you see under there, not all of that is coming from that drip that I just showed you on the headers. Uh, it could be uh, leaking from somewhere else. This thing's been sitting in this trailer for way too long and, and uh, they tend to leak because of that. So it might be dripping from somewhere else. I mean, you see no smoke coming out of it. I'm curious to watch this video and see if what came out of it when it fired too. So, but all in all, for something that has been sitting in the trailer for way too long, five years since I've raced now, it starts up pretty good. Don't see any smoke come out of it. It's got good wildwood brakes, front, and back, four piston calipers, so. I'd be willing to bet that those brakes aren't going to get any trouble either. Which, when I do finally get my truck ready to pull this trailer, there'll be lots of videos on this car before I ever take it down track the first time. There's a lot of things I need to check out and, you know, to make sure everything's good and safe. I don't want any brakes locking up on me and gaskets blowing, massive oil leaks out going down the track, stupid stuff like that. Things you gotta look out for when a car, race car sets for a long time. But we'll sit in it and then I'll end this video.